Well, yeah, absolutely. They just wrapped this press conference up a couple of minutes ago. Here's what we learned. They're going to need to build a 400 foot long by 20 foot tall wall at the bottom of the hill right along Electric Avenue. We're told that the rock, the wall will go up, then they'll fill in soil and bedrock to make sure that the road is stable. The paving will happen after that. We're told the paving is actually the easy part. That lasts about 10 to 14 days. Now, the apartment buildings, the two that are at the bottom of the hill along Electric Avenue, we're told at this point they will not need to be taken down. The White House, however, that we've shown you will be demolished in the next few weeks. The bid proposals for this to contractors went out last night. There's already tons of interest, according to PennDOT. And just to give you an idea, the deadline for these bids is Friday, an extraordinarily expedited process. All of this planning to happen very fast. And just to give you an idea of the sense of urgency PennDOT has for this project, they actually got emergency approval from the state to expedite. The schedule we've provided to the contractor is an extremely aggressive schedule. Um, we're hoping to have the road open by midsummer. That's barring we don't find any more unforeseen situations. We have drilled. Drilling was completed on Friday. Um, and we believe the drilling did provide us with enough information to make a very good uh, engineering design for the repair. So you just heard it there. The plan tentatively is midsummer to have Route 30 back open. But again, there are unforeseen circumstances that could happen. But again, midsummer, that's the plan. The entire cost is slated to be about five to seven and a half million dollars. We're going to stay on this story. Join me back here at five o'clock, including a new reason that we've heard the possible cause of this landslide that made all of this happen. It's pretty interesting. A lot of history behind it. For now, we're live in Bridgeville. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.